Hi, welcome to Crochet Witchcraft, where we take yarn, wave around a wand, and create something magical. My name is Sarah, and I am so happy you could join me today. Get hooked on the rest of my crochet journey by clicking the subscribe button, hitting the notification bell, so that you know when I upload my next video. Let's get started. If you're new here, Crochet Witchcraft is my YouTube channel where I can share about crochet, teach friends and family the basics, and also learn from you guys. Today I wanted to talk about some of the things I love about crochet. This will include how I got started and the things that kept me into this hobby. Crochet has been a creative outlet for me. I've always been a relatively creative person, but I never considered myself artistic. I have loved singing and acting all my life. I still do some of those things. But when it came to the crafty maker side of things, I dabbled in a lot of areas, but nothing really stuck. Um, in the past, I have done a little bit of knitting, a little bit. I've done quilting, a little bit. Latch hooking, a little bit. Paint by number, a little bit. Those embroidery floss friendship bracelets, a little bit. You know, shrinky dinks. Like I've done certain creative things, but no hobby actually stuck around for that long. Even though I was a creative person, I always knew that my career would lead me in the scientific direction, which it did. Um, I went to college for chemistry and I am now currently a high school science teacher. But even though I was kind of academically motivated on kind of the more science math side of things, I always had to have something creative going on in my schedule in order for me to feel complete. That was always something that I needed to have. So even if I was spending three to four hours a day in lab in college, I was then going to a rehearsal for something. I just have always needed that balance in my life. Um, as an adult and kind of starting a career, finding that creative thing was a little bit more difficult. There are definitely opportunities. I've had some amazing opportunities to act and sing and direct and things like that. But as far as things that I could rely on, on a more frequent basis, I wasn't really finding that through my, my singing and my acting and something felt like it was missing. One day, January 2019, I don't remember exactly which date, but it was in the first two weeks of January, I came across a YouTube video talking about temperature blankets. This video was talking about how temperature blankets aren't old fashioned rainbow monstrosities and that didn't have to be overwhelming or complicated that you didn't feel like you would have to crochet a row every single day. And I really, really liked that idea. Again, coming from a science background, the idea of keeping track of data through color was something that just kind of fit my personality so well. I think I read maybe a couple articles on temperature blankets, um, you know, blog posts. I maybe watched another YouTube video and I went to Joanne Fabrics that night and I bought a crochet hook and some yarn. That was my first crochet project. Um, since then, I have made a lot. I started this channel because I wanted, I wanted to continue this creative journey. Crochet allows me to express my creativity in a way that I hadn't really been able to before, or, or maybe that I didn't have the patience to before. I have really, really enjoyed learning how to crochet and have that be the thing that I come home to at the end of the night. I love crochet because of the supportive community. I did not fully know what the maker community was like online. Like I said before, I hadn't really done a lot of crafty things and especially not as an adult. I'm not sure why that temperature video got suggested to me. I had never searched for crochet. I didn't know that person's channel. Um, the YouTube algorithm works in some weird, mysterious ways. When I started crocheting, I realized that I really wanted to share the pictures of what I was making, but that my personal Instagram page, where all of my followers probably didn't care that much about crochet, um, you know, was probably not the best place to share those pictures. So I started Crochet Witchcraft. When I joined Instagram as Crochet Witchcraft and I started following a bunch of different crocheters and makers in this community, I was blown away by how supportive everybody is. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of thought that I wouldn't be 
received warmly because I was brand new. I was still making a lot of mistakes. I was still figuring out my tension. Um, so my stitches might not have been perfect. My edges were certainly not straight on my first pieces. Um, I'll, I'll show my, fi my finished 2019 temperature blanket in another video. It is, the beginning is horrendous. I have come so far. Um, but one of the things that I really loved about the maker community on Instagram is that everyone was so supportive and so loving. And, you know, just hearing from people that I was learning to respect a lot for what they were putting out, telling me that I was doing a good job and that I should keep going was really, really nice. Getting to see the inspiration of what people were doing. And a lot of people were similar to me in that they wanted to have creativity in their life and they found that creative outlet through crochet. One of the things that I really like about the crochet community on Instagram um, is the respect for mental health struggles. Um, myself, like many of the people I follow, struggle with depression and anxiety and being able to read someone's post just so honestly about how they're struggling with a depressive slump day or they're dealing with the anxiety of sharing a new pattern because they're worried it's not good enough. Um, all of that is really, really nice to hear and it's encouraging to know that other people are going through these things as well. Um, I have found a safe place in my crochet with my mental health and it is something that I turn to on a day when I'm feeling bad, but I also understand sometimes when you turn it into something that's a little bit more consistent or that people are counting on you to finish something or, you know, I've gotten a few commissions, there's a little bit more pressure when there is a commission because there's someone waiting for that garment to arrive. Um, and if you're not having a good day and you don't want to crochet, it can kind of cause that anxiety spiral. So being able to watch other makers work through their mental health issues through this crafting lens has been really helpful to me. I have always been an advocate for, um, you know, mental health in my day-to-day -day life. If I could have like all the t-shirts that just say go to therapy, I would wear them. Um, I think that having that as a resource, um, if you are, you know, able to afford it is amazing. And uh, certainly I think that it's something that should be available to people regardless of cost. But I think that taking care of our mental health is really important and creative outlets and having a support system around you, especially when it's people who are in a similar hobby and understand the ups and downs um, is, is really helpful. Another thing I love about crochet, um, and this is gonna be really simple, is just that it is so relaxing and meditative. It definitely has its frustrating moments and I will talk about those in my next video, but as far as when you kind of get in the groove of a pattern that you're familiar with, or, or something that you just have kind of memorized. It is so nice to just kind of be able to just relax and just focus on the task at hand. Um, I mentioned before with my depression and anxiety, I tend to have kind of an overactive mind, imagination, intrusive thoughts, things like that. So to be able to focus on the work in front of me has been one of the few instances in the last few years where I've actually been able to truly just empty my mind. I used to be really, really fidgety when watching TV. I kind of just, I didn't know what to do with my hands and I would turn to just playing random games on my phone. Now, there's nothing wrong with playing games on your phone. I was doing it too much and I didn't like it. It didn't end up being relaxing anymore. It was literally just something to do. The other thing with crochet is if I am having trouble having a day where I'm emptying my mind and I want it to just be meditative, I will throw on Netflix in the background or a YouTube video or a podcast. And I actually find that I'm able to focus more on that show or that podcast or that YouTube video because the crochet is kind of keeping my, my hands busy. Now, I haven't truly for most things been able to kind of crochet with my eyes closed um or like crochet while watching the tv show and being able to catch everything so i end up watching a lot of shows i've already seen before or ones that i don't necessarily need to be focused on watching the entire time i made the mistake once of starting a movie and then realized that um a bunch of it was in subtitles and i cannot crochet and read subtitles at the same time another thing i like about crochet is that you do not need 
a lot to get started. I think there's a lot of hobbies out there where you need to have 10 billion accessories and you know some of it is really really expensive. With crochet you can get some really basic easy to start yarn and hooks at the craft store or online for a relatively budget-friendly hobby. Now is if you get crazy like I have um, it is not super budget friendly. I will talk about that in my next video as well. But as far as things that I love, being able to kind of jump right into it is really nice. Another thing I love about crochet is that you really only need to know a couple basic moves and you can almost make anything. When I talk about that, I mean, you need to know how to chain, yarn over, pull through and everything else is just a combination of those things. Uh, most crochet patterns are kind of really based off of the same couple moves. It makes it really really easy to go from a basic level to being able to make more advanced things. The other thing that's really nice is that there are a ton of free patterns out there. Um, I really like using Love Crochet which is part of lovecrafts.com as far as getting a lot of free patterns. They have paid patterns on there too. I have bought a couple patterns. I tend to purchase free patterns right now, or I guess download free patterns right now, just because I'm still learning and I haven't quite figured out exactly what sorts of things I wanna be making more often. I'm kind of exploring everything right now. But what's really nice is that there are a lot of people online willing to help. Another thing I love about crochet is that it gave me the chance to learn something new that is historically really old. I know that might sound a little weird, but basically I have long been fascinated of the history of clothing. I've always thought that that's really interesting. Um, my family growing up loved going to museums, learning things. My dad was a history teacher, so I, I grew up with a pretty healthy respect for history. And even though no one knows exactly when crochet started, um, according to the Crochet Guild of America. We know it's been around for about 300-400 years. As far as yarn and knitting and making textiles out of wool, that's been around as long as we knew what wool was, as far as I can tell. Um, they have found yarn that was thousands of years old. It is still really really cool to me to be able to be doing something today and working with materials today that people hundreds to thousands of years ago were working with, you know, and, and how much that process has changed. The last thing I'm going to talk about today about why I love crochet is that crochet gives me tangible products of my time. Remember when I was talking about just playing games on my phone before? What was that really giving me? Nothing. So one of the things that I really like about crochet is that I can sit there working for an hour and I can see what my hour has created, quite literally. Um, you know, for example, this kind of wrap shawl that I made, um, you know, I made this in a few hours and it was so nice to be able to then be done with those few hours and have something. I've been able to keep a lot of the things that I've made, but I've also been able to give away things as gifts. And I know that the people I'm giving these gifts to understand that, um, you know, that a lot of time and effort went into those projects. And so I think they mean just a little bit more. I think that's it for today. What do you love about crochet? Let me know in the comments down below. Bye. Oh my God, my leg just fell asleep. Ah, uh, oh my God. Oh, it went all the way up to the hip. Help. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, I think I've been sitting too long.